Welcome to Kent Channel. Today again we have with us Dr. Robert D. Eldridge, um, formerly with the Marines, and uh, now uh, you have set up your own think tank, right? That's correct, yes. Okay, we'll talk about that on another program. Uh, today I wanted to ask you about uh, the relationship of the uh, Okinawan people and the U.S. military forces in Okinawa. Are they friends? Um, for the most part, I uh, have extremely good relations. You know, um, because my sister and her husband lived in Okinawa. They mm -hmm. lived uh, in Yomitan and then they lived on Kuai for a while. He was in the Army. Mm -hmm. And I've lived on Kadena myself for half a year. They were there three years. And they just thought it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. They liked the place, they liked the people, mm -hmm. the food, everything mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. for, the, for the average American who's there, um, they leave Okinawa or end up staying in Okinawa uh, with absolutely wonderful, fond memories mm -hmm. of the people, the place. Um, many people don't want to leave. Uh, many I people know everybody that, extends, don't they? they? They really want to. Those that uh, have to leave, and that's called a PCS, permanent change of station, um, miss Okinawa terribly. Um, and uh, if they can come back again, uh, you know, they, they try or, or want to come back. Um, and a lot of that has to do with the memories that they've made through relationships with um, with the people of Okinawa. It could be in a school setting, uh, an exchange uh, opportunity, it could be their neighbor, because uh, mm -hmm. many Americans uh, do live off base. Mm -hmm. um, I was fortunate enough in my position uh, as the deputy for government and external affairs. Um, part of the, the work of our office was to promote community relations. Mm -hmm. And for me, I, I took it really to heart having lived in Japan for 25 years, um, I believe that community relations was actually even more important than the government or bureaucratic relations. Mm -hmm. And so my, my personal effort was really devoted to promoting community relations and kind of breaking down the, uh, the invisible barriers that may, may have existed, either language-wise or culture-wise, or physical barriers um, that the fences sometimes yeah. represent. That fence is quite a barrier, isn't it? It, it is. You can see ways. right through it, but you can't walk through it. Uh, correct. So we would we would try to open the base um, as much as possible. Um, I personally escorted um, thousands and thousands, and that's not an exaggeration, um, individuals uh, either during uh, working time, evenings, uh, early in the morning, weekends, mm -hmm. holidays, really anybody who contacted me that wanted to, to go on base and, or to meet with people, uh, I would try to promote those, those interactions. Um, and the more that took place, the more the, the various barriers came down and the more uh, relations and dialogue uh, um, you know, got established. So. Well, do they have uh, like sort of like a foreign exchange type thing where some of the kids swap houses for a few days at the schools? There are, there are a variety of, uh, of exchange programs. One area that, that we do need to do more on, or mm -hmm. you know, we did need to do more on, um, is exactly the home state, uh, home state programs or home state like situations. And there have been different issues you know, with that. Mm -hmm. um, in some cases, um, maybe one entity maybe commercialized it a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. So you had, to, you had to walk that fine line. But that was a, a creating a vibrant homestay program, uh, not only for the program itself, but the relationships it would establish between the host family and the children. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that would, um, that would cause local families to invite American children mm -hmm. and their families to visit. The partnerships that we could develop between, for example, the U.S. consulate, mm -hmm. the military, and the prefectural government, and the schools um, was really um, without limits. So there's still, you know, things that we we could we need to do, we could do. But overall, the relationship is great. Did you get any resistance from the teachers' union? Yeah, we did, frankly. Okay, yeah. that's what I thought. Um, but not necessarily with the homestay um, program idea. Um, Just with the whole idea of interaction? Um, not every school, but a, but a, a significant uh, number of schools, there was, um, there was resistance, and I'll be frank about that. 
Um, These are the people who don't want to sing the national anthem or fly the flag. People, people like that who um, are so, you know, blind to, um, you know, some of the, the good things that, um, that can be done uh, between the two nations working together. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, ideology in the classroom uh, is, a, is a terrible thing. And mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, some of, some of the teachers bring their own personal ideology uh, into a place that um, can really affect the thinking of, of the youth. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, so that's where that, that people to people relationship was so important. How, how much training is done with the uh, Marines on community relations? And uh, I know the Far East Network, or <laughs> that dates me, mm -hmm. the American Force, Armed Forces Network, mm -hmm. broadcast advertisements, you know, remember, uh, what is it, uh, perception is reality. Right. You know, act your age. Right, right. You know. So. Yeah. There, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, you know, uh, you know, snippets of, of information that's being shared. There's an Okinawa culture awareness um, training program. Oh, really? Uh, there's also you know, newcomers uh, training uh, mm -hmm. things. But but I'm as a former educator, I strongly believe in always continuing that process. So um, to be honest, uh, we can always be doing more, and we can mm -hmm. always be doing it uh, better. Um, but those those programs, those institutions do exist, uh, but we can always uh, ramp it up even more. Well, I certainly hope that they're able to continue on the good work that you did now that you won't be there. Mm -hmm. It's a huge loss. Um, I'll just go ahead and state my opinion. They should never let, have allowed you to leave. Um, but, uh, and maybe you'll go back, I don't know, but uh, in the meantime, we're hoping you can uh, do some of the same work maybe through a different vehicle. Right, and that different vehicle uh, is, the, um, is the think tank that you, you alluded to before. Uh, can I mention the name? Well, why don't, why don't we, uh, let's talk about that on the next program. Sure, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you.